Hello, welcome to Algebra 1. We're going to do our third lesson on powers of monomials. Again, just kind of cranking up the problem complexity a little bit. And by the end of this, you should be pretty well versed in how to solve these kinds of problems. If you have, for instance, 3x cubed, and you're raising the whole thing to the power of 2, and then you add to it 2x squared, and raising the entire thing to the power of 3, how do you handle it? Well, you have to do, use order of operations. This addition is going to come dead last, um, so that always happens last. Inside the parentheses is highest priority, but there's nothing we can really do there. So the next thing we do is the exponents. We're going to apply the exponents here and the exponent here, and then later we'll do the addition. So what we're going to have is here 3 raised to the power of 2 times 3 raised to the power of 6, because this gets applied to the 3, and then this gets applied here and makes it 3 times 2, is 6. By the way, it's the same rule. This is applying here. This is 3 to the first power. 1 times 2 gives you 2, so it's the same rule. You're multiplying exponents all the time when you do this. And then you have plus, and then over here you have 3 getting applied to the 2, so 2 to the power of 3, and then x to the power of 6, because this, 2 times 3, is giving you 6. So then, the first term here, what is 3 squared? 3 times 3 is 9 x to the 6th power. What is the second term here? What is 2 to the power of 3? That's 2 times 2 times 2. You should be able to convince yourself that's 8, again, to the power of 6. Now we look at what we have and ask ourselves if we're done. Can we add these together? Well, since we've done this kind of stuff before, this is a like term with this. The same variables present and the same exact exponent is present. If this were x to the 3rd instead, then we wouldn't be able to add these. But since it's x to the 6, we can add them and 9 plus 8 is 17, and we have to carry the x to the 6 along